hello everyone on today's tutorial i'm gonna show you how you can change the style of an image using the control net and ip adapter this method is very useful for designers and architect people who want to test out a variety of material on their room or bedroom so for this workflow we only we will only need a target image and a reference image that we want to transfer the style into the target image I will also show you an inventing technique that will allow you to change one object style or different object style. And without further ado, let's dive into a tutorial. So as I said in the introduction, we will need the depth control map in order to create the position map of the, our image. And this will look like this. And also we will need an IP adapter in order to change the style and transfer the colors of uh, of these reference images into our target image so this workflow is very simple and basic it is composed of a checkpoint loader and depth map control net nodes an ip adapter nodes and i prepared this series of images in order to change the style more quickly i also implemented uh, node masks in order to change uh, some objects which I will show you on the second part. So for the checkpoint loader, I used a Reality Edge as the Excel Turbo version, but you can use any other model that but you can use any other model that is based on as the Excel. And for the key sampler, I am using a low steps and CFG scale. That way I will obtain the results more quickly. So we will also see together the impact of the weight and the weight type on the final results. But before we do that, let's talk about the installation part. So for those of you who, who know about control net and IP adapter, you can skip this part and go directly to the next one. And for the others, you can follow my steps in order to install the control net and the IP adapter. And for the others, you can follow my steps. First, you're gonna check the link under my description. Here, just copy the code, go to your ConfUI root folder under custom node, then type in here cmd then type in git clone and paste your code here and it will install automatically the ip adapter after that just go down down here download all this model and place it under confui models clip version if this folder doesn't exist just create the new one and do the same for the ip adapter model download all this model or you can only download this SDXL Fit H version since we are using only this one. For the IP, for the face ID model, you you don't need to download them since we are not using them. And the same applies for the LoRa's. So once it, once they are installed, you can directly use the IP adapter. Then for the control net, I am using the the depth SDXL version. You can download this model over here. As you can see on their website, we have some explanation, but go directly to the file and version and download this 2.5 gigabyte version. After that, go to ConfUI, enter model, paste it on control net and rename it depth SDXL. And if you are struggling to find those nodes here, you can simply go to manager and click install missing custom nodes on the beginning. After that, update ConfUI then restart your application and you should have the workflow after that good so to give you more details about the workflow here we have our checkpoint loader which is a turbo model after that we have the, our clip text which i type in high resolution masterpiece and realistic to give more precise and accurate results then we have the depth the control net section on this section the preprocessor depth anything gonna take into consideration the location and the depth of every object located on the image and based on that we, we, he is gonna create what we call a depth map here you can see what the depth map lo looks like after that this positive and negative data is gonna be transferred onto our key sampler here but before that we have our ip adapter which is gonna be used for style transfer and the IP adapter is gonna take into consideration the, the color and the style of the image. This reference image over here is gonna be resized into 10, 1024 pixels since we are using the SDXL model for the IP adapter. 
so we need to change uh, the resolutions then based on the weight and weight type it's gonna create different styles for our images as you can see here the image changed completely but if i start if i start playing with the weight we're gonna see different results so first let's change the weight into 0 0.7 and click your prompt and here we have our results as you can as you can and you can see that it changed completely the style of the room it also adds some additional details like like on the wall over here so let's try reduce the weight 0 0.25 and do another trial as you can see we have a different results which is closer to the reference image so keep in mind that you need to find a good balance of weight between the reference image and the target image and it, it's gonna depend on your taste okay let's change the weight type from style transfer to linear and let's see the results again here we have our results and you can see that the result is less consistent compared to the style transfer of weight type so i strongly suggest you to use the style transfer on the weight type i'm gonna change it again to zero point four and see what we got i also suggest you to use a value between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 in order to obtain a good and consistent results and here we have our results with the void with the weight value of 0 0.4 i like this one the most the color are very uniform and the consistency is here as you can see it also take into consideration the light intensity and the color of the light here we have daylight and for the second image we have a warming light so let's change the style of the image to obtain other results let's use this robot styles to obtain some cyberpunk style and here we have another results based on other style you can see that we have more more dark colors here and the light is not as intense as the first image let's do another trial i will choose this one over here and see how the style is transferring alongside with the light and here it is it is also a good and impressive results we have completely changed the, the room of this image alongside with the lighting by the way if you are interested of changing the background or the lighting of an image you can also check my ic light workflow which is gonna give you a good results let's do one last trial then we're gonna skip to the second part where we're gonna choose some objects using m painting and change their styles and here we have our last results as you can see it also gives good results the color are completely changed alongside with, with the floor and the walls but it didn't affect too much the lighting of the room okay now let's let's jump into the second part for this part we're gonna use an m painting technique in order to separate some object from the scene and change their styles while keeping the original image style so to do that we're gonna need a mask notes which is composed of growth mask with a blur then we're gonna directly plug the mask here using VAE encode for in painting. Then we're gonna change the latent here and plug it onto our key sampler. Let's first enable these nodes, set group to always. And uh, here you can see that we plugged the mask here and we have our convert mask to image, which will enable us to see the mask that we created. This notes is gonna also create some additional blur on the edge of this mask in order to create more uh, more consistent results. Okay, for the mask we can use two technique. You can other select the sound detector, which gonna which is more easy and more quicker. Just put your point here and click detect. As you can see, we have successfully selected this part then you can click save notes and start our in painting process or you can right click then select open in mask editor and here you can in paint whatever you want using the mouse here we have the opacity and the thickness of our mouse here okay i'm gonna cancel 
I personally prefer the first method since it is very accurate and precise. So let's click Q prompt and see the results. And here we have our results. You can see that we have completely changed the style of this object over here. And let me show you the mask that we created. As you can see, it successfully selected our object. With this method, you can select every part of the image or furniture or it can be any other object that you want then change the style to the to the taste that you want to obtain let's do another trial open in sand detector let's try out with this those pillows over here as you can see it also selected this object the main reason for that is that we selected two close two point then which resulting in the selection of this object since they are close together to fix that i'm gonna select this one over here and select other pillows here you can see that we have selected other pillows let's add another point and we have selected the three pillows over here so we're gonna click save note open in mask editor then Let's reduce the thickness. We're gonna keep painting the rest of the pillows. This way we can ensure that we have, we will obtain uh, accurate results. Good. Now just type in Q prompt and let's see the results again. Here we have our results and you can see that it is perfect. Okay, let's try out another point of the image open in sound detector if for example i want to change only the outside of the image let's clear out those points and click detect as you can see it selected the window i'm gonna save notes you don't necessarily need it to, to be perfect since we are using ai now let's click q prompt and see if it succeeded on changing the background here and look at this we have completely changed the outside of the image and here we have another background change so now i hope that you get the, the principle of this in painting method i will be glad to see how you can do with this type of workflow okay that's it for today tutorial if you like this type of video push the like button for me subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch my other videos so thank you